Charlie. Hey, baby. Good morning, it's Saturday. Saturday morning, we just woke up and I'm making some breakfast. Uh, but first, I wanted to have some tea. In my one of my favorite mugs, it's gigantic and that's how I like it. So we have... Um, this is some Earl Grey tea with um, corn, blue cornflower, which was really cute. Um, uh, and the brand is called Agma. It's really delicious. And I'm gonna add some unsweetened soy milk. And I actually used to buy like coconut milk and all kinds of uh, non-dairy milks, but I find that this one tastes the best in, um, well for me at least, in like teas and whatnot. And I like quite a bit, so. That's my drink of choice this morning and I'm making breakfast. Eggs as always, I feel like I'm always making eggs, but it's kind of weekend, so we have some fruit, some plums that <laughs> I've resurrected from the fridge. They've been there a little too long, but when you see them. And I'm gonna make these eggs. It's like, my mom used to make this thing for us growing up all the time. You basically, you slice and saute some onions on low heat, then you add tomatoes and you kind of let it cook together to form like a thick sauce. And then when they are nice and soft, you break the eggs on top, cover it, and just let it steam and it's delicious i think there's an israeli dish if i'm not mistaken called shakshuka or something like that which is very similar although like i grew up in a uh, russian armenian household uh, this was a very traditional breakfast that we would do my mom would make quite often so now i decided to make that for us to kind of change it up from um the regular um fried or whatever poached egg situation and then we'll also have some toast and some asparagus that i just steamed and uh, that's that just like a lazy saturday morning um i will have a friend come over around 12 o'clock and we're gonna actually do something fun today we're gonna shoot a go to central park and do a little shoot for the blog post that uh, I'm gonna post probably sometime midweek. So I am really excited. I think she's pretty excited too. Okay, so let me get going with this and I'm gonna show you the finished product in a little bit. Tired little kitty. Try are you so tired, baby? <laughs> My little fatty. doesn't like to be bothered. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Let you be, baby. Okay, so let me show you. I just broke the eggs on top, so I had tomato, onion mixture sauteing, and it got really soft and delicious. And it's on really low heat. So then you break the eggs on top, and just cover it, and let it steam, uh, and come, and get cooked completely. And then you get this, underneath you get the saucy goodness, and then you get the egg on top that's still runny, and it's just so delicious. Um, yeah, nostalgia. I used to, we used to eat it a lot for breakfast growing up, so, and we really like it. But it's a bit, you know, it's a little, it takes a bit longer than just regular eggs, so, yeah. I'll show you when it's done. So this is what the end result looks like. I actually forgot it on the on the on the stove for a little too long, so I think they're cooked through now. I don't know. I kind of got distracted. I don't know what I was doing, but and, and then you can you know scoop one out and see it has that um, tomato onion mixture at the bottom, and it's really really delicious. Okay, so we're gonna enjoy that now. Actually, I gave up too early. No. They are actually a bit runny. Well, this one wasn't. Can I have a sip of your tea? Yeah, of course. I'm making Indy some uh, 
have Gregory's cup. I'm making some spiced chai from Trader Joe's and it actually smelled so good. I now I want some too. Maybe I'll make me some as well. Spiced like chai chai tea with soy milk is very good. What you think? Do you is agree with me? Is this safe to eat? Yeah, I just gave it to you. Why was it here? No, I just put it there so you could use it. I washed it off. Oh, no trust. Okay, no trust. Hey, baby. <laughs> he never plays with any of his toys. But he seems to really enjoy that um, little plastic road. But he has to be supervised just so he doesn't eat it. <laughs> Where did it go, Charlie? Is it underneath? <laughs> so cute. Oh my mushki. Okay, this can go on for a little while, so I'm just gonna <laughs> Oh I love me a weekend morning. That's it, I think the session is over. Okay, you guys, and he's getting ready in the background as always. And I asked him, I was like, Do you mind if I make this video? And he's like, Sure. And then he starts vacuuming. So, anyways, he's about to leave. And yeah, just give him five more minutes. But uh, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick, maybe like, get ready with me. Uh, I really like to watch those on YouTube, so I thought, Why not? And I got some new products yesterday um, there was this Maybelline concealer it was a twist up pen similar I guess to Tusha Club but a uh, drugstore version that I really liked and yesterday I think I liked color buff and yesterday I went to the pharmacy to see if I can find it and I couldn't find it anywhere at Dwayne Reed so instead I got this Maybelline fit me concealer I mean everyone knows this guy uh, and I got it they didn't have my shade which I think was my shade so I got medium and fair and I'm hoping to like mix them up and then I also got master conceal by Maybelline in light <clears throat> so I'm gonna give these guys a shot especially since um, I said before like I said before I don't use foundation a whole lot so I'm just gonna use concealer to like spot conceal any imperfections I have and I'm gonna use this guy as my mirror I've never done it like this but We'll just give it a shot and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, um, let's get going with that. So oh, first things first, I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I'm just gonna try uh, try out if, to see if the color fits me. This is color uh, medium, and um, I always do my base first, blend it in, and then do whatever shadow um, and bronzer and blush. I you know feel like. Yeah, this may be a little too uh, dark for me, so I'm gonna mix it with a lighter color. But I thought maybe for my and the skin on my face, it should be okay. It, you know, it feels quite light so far. I guess. So I'm just gonna mix these two up. Um, I do get quite a bit of darkness, but when I was filming in my bathroom because of the lights, I felt like shadows were very strong and uh, it, I don't necessarily feel like that's what it really, um, that's what it's, I, I didn't feel like, it, in reality, um, I think it wasn't as bad, especially in daylight, it looked just fine, but there in the artificial light, I felt like it was a bit, um, exaggerated so I'm just gonna dot it everywhere like I feel like I need coverage and I think I'm also dotting it on the floor it is I feel like a bit dark so I'm just gonna also dot this lighter shade um, just like so um, we'll see what happens like I haven't, I haven't used this I'm not like a makeup expert or anything but 
I like to play around with makeup and I have <laughs> my trusty Touche Claw and I'm gonna take the lighter version and kind of uh, um, go in with this as well. I feel like it's very light so if you're putting something more full coverage and then just mixing this in it kind of gives it a more lighter, more airy texture, something a bit more just makes it look uh, much uh, less cakey and more natural. And this is the look, that's the look I'm going for. Okay, so I have my mirror here. Let's just blend it in and see what happens. First, I'm gonna do everything else and then come back to the eye area. And it was just vacuuming. And you should see how much cat hair there is. It's just crazy. And we just had like the apartment cleaned yesterday. I don't know. This cat shed like no one's business. I feel like we should just collect all the fur and make um, socks out of it or something. It was full. Hmm. Can you see? I think it's pretty good. I feel like the lighting here is not exactly the best maybe. I'm just sitting in front of my window doing this. And then under eye, I just go with my finger. Um, just mix it up. I feel like I put too much. But okay, I'm just gonna mix it up and then take the remainder of it maybe. So, um, yeah, I think I put more than I'm used to, but I'm just gonna blend it in. And blend it out. Oh, I quite like it. Mm, it doesn't look too cakey, I don't think. Looks quite natural and skin like. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna blend everything in and come back because I can be sitting here blending for a little while. And I was using this Urban Decay brush. And I'm just gonna switch to one of my favorites, which is Elf. It doesn't have a number or anything, but it's like this brush, it was like six bucks or something. I remember buying it. So I'm gonna do that and come back to you guys. Okay, so I think the base is done. It's looking quite nice. I think those lights are pretty harsh, so you can really see every little detail. I can see that um, maybe it picks up just a bit, like right here, you can see it. But overall, I think it looks nice I'm gonna set it just a little bit with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, just because we're gonna go out and it's really hot out today it's gonna be like 87 degrees if you can believe it just I, I mean I love the fact that summer is still here but I want to wear some of my um, you know fall stuff where you're not perpetually sweating because I'm sweating um, I feel like I'm always like concerned about sweating my head off. I guess that's just like okay. So I'm just gonna powder. Um, yeah, I think it looks quite nice. I wish I got the color that they didn't have. I think there was something between light and medium. There was another color that I think would have been a better match for me. Because these are not going to be the case, but... Just a very light dusting, I don't pick up a whole lot on the brush. Okay. Uh, now for the eyes, I wasn't sure what to do. I wanted like a brown, I want to do like a smoky brown color. And then I wanted to do a red lip. And I wasn't sure which eyeshadow. I actually brought out these Kiko eyeshadows. Um, they are stunning. This is Kiko Long Lasting Wet, Wet and Dry Use Eyeshadow in 202. Can you just see it? And let me swatch it. They're they're just beautiful they're be like they're beautiful and they're pigmented and they go on quite nice and they have a lot of uh, like metal like 
shimmer metallic finish but they're so smooth and very nice so i guess i'm just gonna since i started with this one i'm gonna use this one and as you know you know my preferred method of application is my finger so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna use the brush to smoke it out Actually, I put some concealer on my eye, just a tiny bit when I was brushing, and I can feel that my eyelid is a bit tacky. So I think that helps also with um, the product sticking to it nicely. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a brush and uh, actually I'm gonna smoke a different one out. So I have this. I was subscribed to Sephora Playbox. I unsubscribed because honestly, I feel like I had I was subscribed for a month for a few months, and I had like. 300 primaries and like I don't even use primaries like why they they included primer with it like it was just not the best about I felt like even if it's 10 bucks a month this seem like a lot but if it's 120 bucks a year I could just take this 120 bucks and buy a few products that I really enjoy as opposed to a bunch of sample samples that I wasn't even using I hope that makes sense so this but I got this Makeup Forever shadow in P601 and it's like this brownie, it's a pretty brownie color. So I'm just going to smoke it out into the lash line. Why do I say into the lash line? Into the crease, I keep saying into the lash line. And when I try to smoke a color out, I just keep my eyes open and look straight. So because I feel like if you look down, you tend to put it lower. So when you open your eye, you don't actually see um, the smoky effect. So I'm going to open my eye and look straight into the mirror. And then try to smoke it out. If you can hear this music playing, we have Pandora on, my favorite station, French Cafe Radio. Um, and we listen to it all the time on the weekend. Okay, so it's done. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of highlight underneath the brow bone and I'm going to use this Kiko Matte. Um, it's a skin color, really, on me. It doesn't look, it doesn't really brighten it up too much. But just enough. Oh, I was actually uh, wanted to saw something. I watch here on YouTube. There is a channel HRH Collection. I'm sure a lot of you know about her. And I go through like phases where I love her, and I some sometimes I'm just so irritated. I'm like, who? Like, is this a real person? Like, who talk? Like, anyways. So I guess now I'm going through a phase where I actually find her quite entertaining. And the other day she was actually doing a look where she put like black shadow all over her eye and I thought it looked really cool. So uh, I don't usually do it because I already have like pretty big, so I don't know, I feel like it can be overpowering. But it didn't look like that on her. And she's a blonde, so I was thinking, you know, I have darker hair and so maybe it won't stand out that much. So I'm actually going to try it out soon. Not like for work or anything, but you know, I think it'd be fun. And just a little bit of shiny, uh, just right here. I mean, it's not going to really show up as uh, really sparkly or anything because I put uh, matte base underneath, but I just feel like doing it. I think it's more of a habit than anything, just if there's any form of brush it off. Yeah, I feel like maybe the color match was not perfect for me. I feel like it could have been brighter, but I'm not going to mess around with it anymore because I don't want to um, have it look like a lot of makeup underneath there. So what I'm going to do now is probably just darken up the outer corner. I'm not going to put liner. I'm just going to put dark shadow with this like stumpy little brush. And I'm just gonna rub it into the outer corner and drag it in a bit. No, it's not gonna be like a wing or anything. I just, um, the purpose I guess is to darken up the lash line, is what I'm trying to say. So just pick up 
and with black shadow and right there. And I'm gonna pop a little bit underneath my eye and then I'm going to smoke it out. I think it can make your eye look a bit droopy. You just have to do it the right way, but uh, I think I'm gonna just smoke it out a little bit. But it can also frame your eyes nicely, especially if you maybe have um, smaller eyes or um, just wanna create that shape. Depends on how you do it. I just want just a tiny little bit of shadow. I don't want anything there. And I feel like I'm gonna do the same thing I did the other day when you pop a little bit of like um, bright metallic shadow in the center and then blend it out. It really, I feel like made a difference the other day when I did it. So I can use the same like a taupey metallic -y type of shadow and just a bit in the center. need a lot just a bit. and then take a fluffy brush the one that you're blending in with yeah it's like it really wakes wakes your eye up and if it looks like you know the look is not coming together just pop some mascara on and you'll see it's gonna make all the difference brush through my um, brow hairs and today I think I'm gonna just do just a tiny bit um, of something I really don't think I have a whole lot to fill and sometimes they get carried away and they look too dark and in person maybe for Instagram post you know it's cool but in person it really um, I feel like it overwhelms my features everyone's like staring at my eyebrows and it can look a bit heavy. Oh. <laughs> I always do that. Okay, this is my only complaint with this brow is. So there are two sides, right? One is shorter and one is longer. So if I put this cap on this side it like squishes the tip and I do this all the freaking time and it's just like why can't they just make them even yeah. okay. now I'm just gonna pop in a ton of mascara and I'm still using the real the benefit So let me do that and come back. Okay, my friend came over and she's in the living room getting ready. So I'm just gonna use this Laura Mercier palette I got for Christmas to bronze up and put a little highlight. Quite a subtle highlight, I really like it. And then for blush, I wanted to use this guy. It's Laura Mercier in Aquan. I had it for a long time, but I think it gives a very autumnal look. Okay, and something I always do is run my blush into the crease to kind of tie it all together. And it looks really good, I think. It's 
this will be so far. I'm gonna put a lipstick on now that I'm looking at it. Maybe red can be an overkill. So let me pick something maybe a bit more nudie and I'm gonna come back and show you what I picked. Okay, what do we have going on? So, this is the look I guess we'll be going with. <laughs> Nude lip is not happening today. So what I did, I used this Urban Decay lipstick. Uh, this is Urban Decay lipstick and Troublemaker. It won't focus, so um, this is what it is. And it's part of the Comfort Matte. And it's a really dark purple. Um, looks almost black on the lips, I really like it. And to kind of line my lips, I don't use any pencil because I don't have anything this dark, but I have this uh, e.l.f. brush that I love. If there's one thing you need, you need this brush. I use it for every, like a pigmented, um, bold color. It's amazing. It's just e.l.f. retractable lip brush and you can take it with you. It's freaking um, amazing. Okay. So this is what we have and I just added a bit more um, color on the cheek because I feel like it was washing me out a bit. Just try not to get her on your teeth though, because that would not be cute. Okay, we're in Central Park. We're gonna do a little shoot right here. I think it's a nice spot. <laughs> no, now I can't. Oops. Is it Can you believe this is Central Park? This is a less known portion. This is Masha. <laughs> How beautiful. It's like Alice in Wonderland so pretty and I'm really sweating in my autumnal outfit yeah oh check this out I know I just thought it was gonna be cooler but it's still pretty hot There's a bird taking a bath, how cute. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Okay, so we're done shooting for, for the fall. It was really hot and I was wearing this um, fall, fall kind of inspired outfit with a black shirt, like a, with a black dress. It's kind of a... Um, soft knit it's really beautiful really soft and lovely but it's pretty hot um, some ankle booties open toe ankle booties and a leather jacket I am sweating but now we're at this really cute spot and we're about to lunch and I also ordered a margarita because um, I think we deserve that <laughs> Oh, it's lovely, it's beautiful outside. I'm gonna discover this part of Central Park that um, it's further away from the more touristic area. It's beautiful and it has like this beautiful garden with fountains and um, uh, flower beds and whatnot. And we found a really fun. It was lovely. It's on the country, it's uh, Third Street. So if anyone's interested in checking it out, it's not as crowded, just as beautiful. As, very serene, peaceful, and just, just really nice. And I took off, I was wearing this Urban Decay lipstick. Um, it looked really cool in the future, but I took it off because we're about to eat. That's all we have. We have some margaritas and some guac. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> oh my god, you made me laugh. 
Okay, before we head out, let's do the rundown of the everyone, everyone's outfit. Yeah. Huh? Oh my god, behind the scenes? Again. Yeah. We have Andy there looking really nice. She's not in the mood. to start your YouTube because you do have a Masha is looking very nice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, baby. Okay, we're all ready to go. Okay, so we just got home from the restaurant. We had a really lovely dinner. Oh, it was really nice. We were sitting outside. The weather is perfect. It's so nice out. I just so lovely um, we got to sit outside and had some um, drinks and some dinner now it's time for this little guy to get his dinner <laughs> he's so excited okay so let me just feed him quickly before he uh, freaks out and I think that's it for today um, we were able to shoot two books today which is awesome and I'll check back in with you tomorrow. Hey, girl. Hey, baby.